Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. See, I asked 11.03. Now we will do lab 9. We will do lab 9, please. And lab 9 is about dynamically addressing, adding a DHCP server to a LAN. Okay, so here we have two LANs connected with a router. Okay. PC, P, and the laptop, they are static. But if you come here, we have a DCP, DHCP IP address. And here we have these devices that are using dynamic IP address. Okay, so let's configure it. Okay, inshallah. So first let's design the network. Close this. Sorry. Oh, okay. So first, let us place the router. We choose the router here. How can I move this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, yeah, but why it's shaking? Okay. Can you see it? It's clear? Okay, now the router... 1941 in the middle and then i have i choose the switch i have one switch here and another switch here okay i'm doing this this diagram this is the hardware topology my hardware topology okay then i have here let me just move this a little bit here. Yeah. I have one PC on top and one laptop. So here we go to PC on top here. And then we have a laptop here. Okay. Then on the other side, we will have computer here. What else? We will have a printer. Where's the printer? Can you see the printer? This is the one. Can you see it? Okay. Drag it here. Good. Oh. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to move this a little bit, make it look nice. Now, then I have my server. This is not laptop. Uh, yeah, laptop. You are right. So we have a laptop here. And then we have a PC here. Okay. Now let us do the wiring. This is very important. Yes. Practical will be on the system. We'll give you the instructions on paper, but you need to design it on the packet tracer file and upload the file. And each file will be different. Okay, now let's do the wiring. Please pay attention and follow me, okay? Do the same. Here we have a router. Well, I'll wait for you. Give you two minutes. You're done? Good. Okay, now we will do the router. We'll do all the wiring, so please follow. And by the way, in the practical, you get marks for each part. Yeah. yeah. The first one. Okay, now use the cable. And on the router, we will use Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0. And then we will connect it to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Correct? On the switch, 0 slash 1. You just look at the drawing. And then from, uh, we forgot one server here, by the way. Let me add one server. Yeah, 
Yes. In most of our labs, we will use that switch. Yes. Look here. Look at the drawing. What do you see here? On the router, G0 slash 0. On the switch, what is it? There you go. Okay, now from the switch to the printer. Uh, first, uh, from the switch to the printer, which cable? Same. Straight cable. And then on fast Ethernet 03 to the printer, fast Ethernet. Another cable from the switch, fast Ethernet 02 to the server. Very good. Another switch from the, another cable from switch fast Ethernet 0 to PC, fast Ethernet. I think if they put a cable, but I think we will use wireless. Let us put a cable first. Let's just put a cable. Let's see. But I will show you how to do both ways, OK? One, uh, the first one, 1960. Fast Ethernet, OK? And for the PC also, the same thing. You have to finish this lab. This lab is pretty similar to the practical exam. OK, now we need to connect the router to the switch, OK? So let's move this side. On the router, we have this cable. And it's coming from which port, which, which interface on the, on the router? Gigabit Ethernet to the switch. Which port on the switch? Five. Zero 05. Uh, straight, straight through. Yeah, yeah, because there are different types. When there are different types, you use straight. Then fast Ethernet zero 01 to the switch, fast Ethernet. Which one? Port, yeah. The, you, you need to look at the drawing. In your, in your computer. You have the lab, open the lab manual, the Word file, if you like. Oh, you want to move forward? Tal. Tal. OK. So here it's coming here. Now we are done with the hardware topology or we call it physical topology. You will get marks for this. OK, let's move forward. So this is my addressing table. Now we need to assign the IP addresses. So here we are done with part one. This is the router model, 1941. The, the switch are 2960, OK? These are my end devices. Now we need to change the display names of each device. This is important. OK? So you will need to go and in the config tab and, uh, and change the name. Let's do that, please. So that we will be consistent. OK. For the printer, it is printer D. So click on the printer, config, the name is printer, I think it is dash D, right? Okay. Yes. okay. Close it. Then here we have, this is PCA. Oops, what happened? No, 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 no. <laughs> we played something by mistake here. Yeah. Oops. What happened? Oh my God. Wow. What happened? Well, do you know? <laughs> the packet tracer closed, crashed. Wow. Wow. My packet tracer uh, crashed. 
Okay, let's continue. I'll open it again. Let me see if it's still running. What happened? <laughs> okay, Shabab, I will repeat what I have done because uh, that scratch show is good. It's good chance for you. You can consider this as a revision. Okay. Yeah, just hold them, please. Okay, did you hear what I said? My uh, packet tracer just suddenly crashed. So I'm repeating uh, the design, okay? Which is good for revision. I don't mind. It's good revision. So let's do it again. Here I have one, route, one router in the middle. I have two switches. One switch here and one switch here, okay, close this one, <laughs> let's move it on top, it's better, so here I have Please follow with me. This is PC here. We have laptop here. We have another PC here. And we have a dynamic printer here. And we have a server also on top. This is my DICP server. Okay. Now let me do the cabling. The router. Zero to the switch, F01. And from the switch, F02 to the server. Again, from the switch, 03 to the dynamic printer. Again, from the switch, 04 to PCA, again from the switch, F05 to the laptop, also from the switch to the PC. Okay, very good. Let us save this before it disappears, okay? What is this lab number? Lab 09, good. Lab zero nine. Okay. Now let's see this side. On this side also we have another switch. I think I've replaced the switch already. Yeah, let me move the switch forward to the top. 
And here it's much simpler. So I have here only, I have a PC one and I have another laptop here. And then I'll do the cabling. We'll have a, a router, Giga Ethernet zero, Giga zero slash one. And it is connected to zero five on the switch and then on the switch also we have from this side fast ethernet one to the pc and you see how quickly we can do it once we get used to it it's much faster okay now let me save again <laughs> sorry i will be saving a lot okay files now we need to change the name how do we change the name just click on the device Router, config, what is the name of the router? R1. So just change here, R1. And host name, R1. Please add both of them, okay? Now for the switch, config, switch one, S1, SW1. And here it is SW1. Close it. Now for the P server, what is the name of the server here? Can you see it? Is, did they give it a name? Hello, Sim. Yeah, the ICB server. Very good. And this is very important device for our lab. All right. Here, this is my DHCP server. Click uh, again. See the error. Stopped unexpectedly. Oh, uh, thanks God we saved our work. Mm. Wow, wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I saved it already, so I'll just open it. Packet tracer. I'll inform our uh, tech support about this. Lab 09. Okay. Okay, now this server we said the name is. Oh, again. Okay, so I changed, I'll show you how to change the name. Can you please do the same and change the name for the server? Okay, the DICP server, just give it a name, DICP server. Yeah, on my screen, yeah, yeah, it will work. It is just like how we change the names for the the PC and the printer here is just, I will ask IT to reinstall this uh, packet tracer here. Okay, so on your machine, if you click here, you see, I cannot, for me, I'm getting error. It's not because of the configuration, it is just, there is a crash. I do, I want to do anything, it's crashing, that's the problem, okay? I don't think so, but I will try. But we need to use the server because this is the DICB server. It's an important, it is an important part for this lab. Or I will delete it and I will place another server, okay? Open. Hmm. Okay, I will just put another server here. I'll put it this side. And I'll put the connection.
here, here. Okay, and then I'll I'll delete this one. Yes, delete it. Okay. Let's configure this one. Yeah, this is better. Thank you. <laughs> Config, change the name to DHCP server. Okay, now what other details we have to put here? Now, this is how this lab is different from the, the previous lab. We need to configure. Oops. What is the what is the IP address of the router of the DICP dot two? Okay, and the range is uh, two hundred. So let's do it. Uh, settings, click on settings, please. Uh, interface, fast Ethernet zero, static, 192.168. What? Dot, dot 10. Dot 2. Dot 2. Okay. Subnet mask is 255.255. Okay, very good. Now look what I will do here, please. You will go to, uh, you will go to services. You will turn on DICP. Click on DICP. Turn it on. And then what is the default gateway? Default gateway is what? It is the IP address of the switch, of the router. 10.1, Okay, very good. What is the starting IP address? What is the starting IP address? Look at here. The first IP address is what? Dot three. So, dot three. What is the last IP address? We need 200. So the last IP address will be what? 203. So, IP address. We need to reserve 200 IP addresses. So, Leno Andy, because I have 200 users. Ah, uh, here. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is zero. Here we put the number of. How many? 200. Okay, that's it. I will close this. It is already saved. Close this. Now, just let, let me make sure that I have also the configuration, desktop, IP configuration 192.168. And I need to put the default gateway for the switch or the server, which is 192.168.10.1. Done. Very good. Now let us give. Yeah, here. Now look how I will configure dynamic IP address, Shabab. Look how I will configure it to accept dynamic. You come to config. Here we will use DHCP and close it. Same thing to the PC. Desktop, IP configuration, dynamic or DHCP, close it. Same thing here. Desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. Fantastic. Same thing here. Desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. Okay. How about, yes. Is the router interface 192.168.10.1? Okay, now let's go to the router here. This is the router interface IP address. Okay, now let us configure the router config. The first interface is 192.168.10.1. Dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. 
And don't forget to turn it on here. You will get exactly similar question like this in your practical, okay? For interface zero, what is the IP address this side? What is the IP address on the other side? 10.1.1.1, very good. 10.1.1.1. Subnet mask is this. Yeah, slash eight. Because slash eight, yeah, I need 255.0.0.0. What about slash 16? 255.255.0.0. Slash 24, 255.255.255.0. And we turn it on also, the interface, and close. We are done with the router. Now, what about for this PC? Did they ask us to do dynamic or static for this PC? Okay. What is the PC name, by the way? Uh, PCE. We have to change the name also here. Config PC. PC what? E. Dash E, no? Okay. Desktop IP configuration. Do I use the ICB? No, static. So it is 10 dot what? 2 dot 2 dot 2. What is the subnet mask? They say, what is the default gateway here? It is the router interface. Correct? The router interface, which is, what is the router interface? IP address 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1. Oh, where are we? Yeah. Very good. That's it. I close this. Now we'll come to the laptop. Desktop. Uh, let me change the name. What is the name of the laptop? Laptop F. Okay, fantastic. Desktop IP configuration 10.3.3.3. Okay. And the default gateway is the router interface to my side, 10.3. One dot one dot one. Done. You see everything is green. Life is good. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, let me just continue this part and I will help you. Okay? I promise. Now look here. So we are done with this. They will ask you at the end. We have, we have done all these parts. Okay, we have done all these parts. Now you do ping to test your connection, please. Do a ping, okay? Ping from PCA to ping PCA from PCE and from the, which one is PCE? Yeah. So you come here and you ping PCA. Okay, but what is PCA IP address? Do I know the address? I have to click on it and find out. Then you know it is dynamic. Yeah. Uh, remember, let me save please my work. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now let me change back the names because after we changed it last time, it was not saved. Config. It is PCA. I am doing this uh, so that when you study, you can use it for revision, okay? And this is the printer is printer D, dash D, close. And the laptop is laptop B, laptop dash B. Okay, good. Very good. What else we have here? Uh, we have a PC. PC here is PCC. PC dash C. Okay, done. How do I find out the IP address here? PCA. Should IP address about PCA? I'll go to desktop, command prompt, and then I will type IP config. Now, what is its IP address? 192.168.10.3. Very good. All good. Now, I will come to the PCE, 
and I will ping PCA. Click here. Command prompt. Ping. 192.168. Was it dot 10, no? Dot 10, dot 3. It should work, okay? It will take time. Can you test it on your screen also, please? The ping command, please do the ping, ping command from computer E to computer A, okay? Ping, ping, ping. It, it is pinging, right? Yeah. Yeah, it will work. It just give it some time. It's okay. This is what you need to do for the practical exam. All right. So we have tested all the configuration. This will be similar to your 